Hurricane Maria is still a major hurricane in the Atlantic Basin, responsible for over 30 deaths in the Caribbean. As you can see, it's just east of the Turks and Caicos region, but rain is spreading anywhere from the southeastern Bahamas through Haiti, the Dominican Republic, as well as Puerto Rico. So those areas are seeing immense flooding as well as landslides throughout the day on Friday and into Saturday as the system tracks to the north. Uh, let's take a look at the wind field associated with Hurricane Maria. So as you can see, the storm is just to the north and east of the islands. And so that's bringing in northerly winds and immense storm surge through the Turks and Caicos region, as well as parts of the southeastern Bahamas. So storm surge with wave heights of 9 to 12 feet throughout the day today and then easing as we head in towards Saturday. Now looking at the rainfall amounts, we're seeing about 8 to 12 inches of rain across the Turks and Caicos region for today, and that means widespread flooding and landslides possible um, as the system starts to track to the north. Taking a look at the waves, um, this is a look at the last 12 hours, and as you can see, I was already mentioning 9 to 12 feet through the Turks and Caicos region as well as the southeastern Bahamas, but taking a, a broader perspective, you'll start to see those wave heights increasing towards the southeastern U.S., so dangerous rip currents and surf are possible throughout the day and into the weekend as Maria tracks to the north.